I remember we were having a barbecue and a little party. Hey, Derek, go long, dude. We started throwing a football around, and then all of a sudden it turned into catching it over the water. I remember running and diving, and I even remember turning to catch the football. You know, I hit the bottom immediately. A simple mistake of catching the football and landing in the shallow end because he misjudged the depth of the pool. I remember the impact being very loud. It was like a, a bomb had gone off. And I knew I hit my head hard enough that I was uh, hurt. I knew I was hurt badly. The force of the impact triggers billions of neurons to release chemicals in the brain. These neurotransmitters are how neurons send signals, but a flood of meaningless signals burns out brain cells. It wasn't a pretty sight to see him. Hey. Disoriented, he was not normal. A chain reaction of neurotransmitters, ions, blood, and glucose creates energy fluctuations inside Derek Amato's head. I thought my ears were bleeding. I felt like they were pouring with blood. That night, Derek Amato was taken to the hospital and treated for a concussion. He was very lethargic. His speech wasn't normal. His balance did not seem normal. My head was swollen up. Couldn't hear out of my left ear very well. About four or five days after my accident, I was constantly, my mind was racing for some reason. I went over to see Rick, my best friend, and that had known me for years and years. For some reason, I, I felt compelled to sit down at the keyboard. Derek had never played the piano before. And I just began to play. <laughs> played till about two o'clock in the morning. I sat there and just listened to him. It was no Mary Had a Little Lamb. It was a fully structured piece. And Rick looked at me and he said, what's going on? He says, I just don't understand it, Rick. 